So I got this like little passport holder from the Target dollar spot and it was, I believe, $3. Um, and I've also found similar ones at Staples, which I got for $1.50. And I think this is a relatively easy project to make. Um, I think that there are versions of it that can be adapted if you don't have certain tools like the Cropodile, which I used to make the holes here. But let's start anyway with whatever the project share, <laughs> whatever you call it. Um, first, you'll see that I have my elastic bands. They're exposed on the outside. I, I'm okay with that. And then I've also just um, embellished them by doing, um, using some of these paper beads that I have been making a lot over the last week. As you can see right here, I have a ton that I've been making and it's a really awesome way to use up your scraps. I have some more scraps in here that will end up becoming beads as well. In any case, super cute it says I just need sunshine and then in the inside, I just basically made it almost like a traveler's system by just making these cute little folders, which we'll get into. Um, in the card slot area, I just put a couple of goodies in there, just a little rainbow, a little flower situation, and some library cards in different colors that I got from Amazon. And I decorated them really simply. I didn't do like any layered embellishing of the covers or anything, mainly because it's already going to be chunky, as you can see. Like if you leave it open, you know, you can flatten it, but it's pretty chunky. So if I was gonna go really heavy, not that I'm very good at layering, um, if I was gonna go really heavy, then it was just gonna practically just be an open book. Um, so in any case, um, most of the papers that I used were Maggie Holmes. I have no idea what collections because it's just not that serious to me. Um, and so here inside, you can see that the first little folder is on um, the first elastic. I made it so that it has four elastics. And then I just created, my kids are in the bath. I just created this little tuck spot by just putting like a little corner of paper there and complementing colors. Um, I have a picture frame die cut that was gifted to me by Lily. And so I used that. And then I just added like some cute little details and ephemera. Um, there's some ephemera in here. And I'm not really one to kind of stick to a collection for the sake of like everything has to be matchy matchy. I just does what I want. So um, if you're looking at it and you're going, that's not part of that collection. Um, I does what I want with guys. So um, in this one, I just kind of just did like a little belly band and I just decorated very simply here. There are some enamel dots and other goodies in there. There's some more stuff back here. There's a little um, die that I cut a few flowers out of. And let's see, that was the second one. Here's the third one. Um, and then here I just, you know, cut like some tags. I didn't even punch the holes or anything, but we've got some tags there. I created sort of like a layered pocket, like a tiered pocket effect. So you can see that over here, I just used um, a circle punch to give it the half moon so that we know that there's a pocket there. So I just did one on this side and one on that side. I kind of like it to be staggered. I think it's fun that way. All right, I got some paper clips from my stash. Guys, I don't typically film while the kids are like out and about in the wild, but you know, social distancing life. Okay, so there's that. And then here's our next booklet. This is the last one. And then here I just have another, um, guys. All right, so here's the last booklet. And I've got another sort of craft envelope with some goodies inside, some doilies and some enamel dots and then I just like tucked you know some cute things in the back I love that it's completely like adaptable I'm gonna be sending this to a new pen pal of mine and I think it'll be cool that she can take these out she can pay it forward and give it to her pen pal and then create new pockets for herself and maybe repurpose this in a, an entirely different way or she could use this as like a travel 
um, ephemera holder, which is I think what I would do with it. This is such a cute way to pack a few pieces of ephemera and you can craft and make all the things on the go. So I don't know, I really love it. So let me just add a few more details while I have this here because I clearly forgot to add some stuff. my good ones all right so this is another this is like an altered paper clip that i made where i put some charms on it All right, guys, so I think that's um, enough paper clips for this particular project. We've got quite a lot of a fun dangle situation happening and just lots of fun little added pieces. So I hope that you like this project share. Let me know if you'd like to see me create one of these and I will go ahead and do that for you. Until next time, guys, I hope that you are well. Please be safe out there. Keep your spirits high and I will see you next time. Bye guys.